Hello again. Right, this isn't actually my long-term analysis part two. I'll upload that uh, later on. But um, I just want to quickly, before I take the dog for a walk, it's now 10.47. I've been waiting all morning to uh, get a trade in gold, um, be it long or short, uh, as whatever the charts tell me to do, I do. And um, I was clearly explaining, or hopefully you saw part one, um, and uh, hopefully things will become clearer in part two. Um, I was explaining that we've got a long, a good strong trend here, high, low, lower, high, lower, low, pullback continuation. Then on the higher time frames, we still had uh, this trend in place. This is the hourly high, low, lower high, lower low here, and this is a pullback swing fall. This was accumulation. So I could see they'd really, really kept ramming this up long, which was why I had my bias to the short side. The trend is uh, short on this hourly chart, which is rare in itself. And I was watching for them to potentially push this up further. Um, we've got, uh, this is just a pullback on this massive gold uh, uptrend, but um, based on what I was looking at on the DAX also, they were pushing that up. So uh, it looked like it was a uh, strong sort of uh, reversal. Remember we were hard down yesterday, so strong reversal time, so hard down on gold uh, today potentially, especially in the light of what I just showed you, all that uh, sort of uh, faking the longs back into the trade. And if they've, they're putting the longs in, um, then uh, they're going to hunt out the stops for these people that have all uh, joined in to go long, as well as the fact that the, the big boys, the institutions, are just messing around with uh, us little retailers at this point. So uh, the reason for the entry, of course, is uh, we're below zero on H1 and we were red. Um, below zero on uh, that indicator as well and red. H4, I think, was telling me the same. Believe me, I've done hours of... Uh, yeah, I mean, we were just in a big move down, that big candle, power, and then no power really to the upside. We're still well below zero, even on H4. D1 was a red candle, so I was just totally bearish. Let's get down to the lower time frames, and then quickly, because I need to keep these uh, uh, videos shorter, as you know, We've got, this is where the lower time frames, I start to draw my lines and levels. We've got a 30 minute, three candlestick trend to the long side. And what I um, expected to happen was the low of this 30 minute candle to get um, busted. It needed to be busted and that would then be, the internals of that would be a five minute trend, high, low, lower, high, and ultimately lower, low. What in fact I did was I traded the test of that uh, M30 uh, low uh, we can use the M15 and do a similar thing. So I wanted to close below the, the, the last M15 trend, low, high, high, low, high, high. So that's the candlestick trend. We'd clearly broken that uh, candlestick trend with uh, a breakdown. And then we were into a swing trend as well. High, low, lower, high, lower, low. Uh, this was all accumulation to the long side on this on the low charts. Remember, I want to be trading away from the uh, hourly 8MA as well, which you could see they were pushing price into. Uh, so it was a real no-brainer entry, really. Um, I was waiting for some sort of power. As you can see, nothing here, just sideways, little bars, and then all of a sudden the momentum comes into the market, which was watching. But I held my... Um, held my ground because the higher time frame would have been suggesting otherwise. We'll just double check what uh, that does in fact tell us. <coughs> Excuse me. 30 minute, actually that was alright. When I entered, so uh, yeah, but before I entered we hadn't had that 30 minute um, close. So I waited for that strong close, the red 30 minute candle. Then as you can see, next bar I hit my trade short. So the entry was taken according to the 30 minute indicators. Yeah, so that explains all of that stuff. I couldn't enter until that 30 minute uh, confirmed for me. And then um, the rest, as they say, is uh, history. We've got an M30, that M30 low here, which was the test I had hoped to see happen. So that explains that. That's how these levels become important on the lower time frame. So remember, we can draw levels and use them 
on everything from the monthly right down to the M1 in fact. Uh, now this is reversed strongly and if we look at the trend high, low, lower, high, lower, low on that, those two red candles we can see now we've actually broken the high of that and closed above it so this is quite a strong move to the long side so I was lucky to get my well it was actually 10 pips I think so I'm pleased with that as you might uh, hear in my voice and well there's nothing else to say about this I will be uploading the long term um, part two of the long term gold thing later but uh, hopefully you're seeing this and uh, you know this is a result of absolute patience and discipline second trade of the day 10.52 and um, I'm happy very very happy with that oh now I'm off to walk the dog who's cross-legged <laughs>